Americans love giant vehicles. So how does this car even get sold here in America? It's like having a slightly bigger version of those toy cars you can buy for your kids that they power with their feet like Fred Flintstone. When you sit in a Smart 242, you are quite literally sitting in the entire car. With a three-cylinder, 89-horsepower turbocharged engine, it'll do zero to 60 in 10 seconds flat with a stiff wind behind it. But guess what? It's really fun to drive. It has two cup holders, AC, 15-inch eight-spoke wheels, and a fancy hiding spot for your shades. It might be practically impractical or impractically practical, but it's the perfect place for an intimate conversation. Breath mints recommended. I'm Jeff Cribbs, and this is Big Ideas in a Small Car. Today we're going to talk with Bonnie Endicott, director of People at Southwest Airlines. They're up to some pretty exciting things on the development side over there. Now you sit down. It's still small. But think about it. It's like sitting in the front seat of a car. Yeah, you've got to open the sunroof to get yeah, a little no, extra safety space. Safety first. Okay, safety, safety first. first. I don't have a seatbelt. Oh, there it is. Oh, you do. Believe me, it comes. Well, this, the passenger belt was extra. We got it. I'm so glad they put a passenger belt in first. Yeah, I mean it's nice. Hang on. Uh, oh, snacks? Here, got some peanuts. Look. Peanuts and uh, pretzels. In case we get hungry. Yeah, sure. In case we get hungry. Sure. Okay, and then, great. Then, then Look, you, you've got a stir stick Put that in your here. water. Sure. And then I you think. You guys do your homework here. You guys well, do your homework for sure. Well, I mean, you sure. know, when you're flying the company plane, you got to make sure you're doing it right. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys for the uh, set me up for success here. No, no. Yeah. I mean, we just want you to be comfortable. Yeah. Have you ever had any of the, they're called plain smart cookies? No, there's cookies awesome. now? Awesome. They're wait, awesome. Wait, wait. Well, I thought it was just, I thought it was just peanuts and... No, no. Plain, oh. they're just plain, like, sugar they're... cookies in the shape of a plane. Really? P-L-A-N-E. It's like a play on words. You get it? I plain, mean, I get it. Plain, plain cookies. <laughs> and... <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming you used to still go heavy military for your pilots and that type of stuff, but yeah. what, about, what about the other jobs? Well, actually, we left military um, veterans for all of our jobs. Sure. Excellent, excellent work ethic mm -hmm. and um, a great pool of folks who are looking to um, find a home yeah. for a company they can be at for a long time, grow their career. So we, we love hiring veterans all across the org organization. We're also doing a lot of work with colleges, colleges. to really um, let people know that we are more than flight attendants and pilots. I, there's more than flight attendants the, and pilots? That work here? I don't well, imagine mechanics. that. There's mechanics. There's mechanics. Yeah, in fact, we have. Um, we have some um, interns coming in from high school. Oh, and they're interning to be pilots? Nope, they're interning to be probably somewhere more in our corporate corporate office. Oh, flight attendants. <laughs> no. Oh. Tell me about the other jobs then. If, if you're not a flight attendant and you're not a pilot and you're not a mechanic, what are you doing? Um, well, we've got a huge um, IT department, so mm -hmm. lots of space to work on both internal applications and customer-facing applications. Mm -hmm. Marketing is a big deal, doing a lot of recruiting in the digital marketing space. How are you going about developing this young talent? We have a cool program called the Emerging Leadership Development Program, mm. um, ELDP for short. So actually what we did is we took um, some success stories from our managers of station managers and directors and said, how did they navigate their career at Southwest to get where they are today? Because most of them started off on the, on the ramp or you know, as a customer service agent. We said, how can we compress that into 18 months? Just kind of what experience, what development do you need to get there? And then we just kind of tried to compress it as best we could into the shortest time frame possible. So you, ha you might have ramp, which is people who put the bags on the plane and ferry the the taxi, not ferry. Okay. Taxi the plane down. I like ferry, uh, that's but, a, but that's not official word. Using that taxi. as a verb. Is that... <laughs> well, if you ferry, a ferry a plane. Ferry a plane. Or... It's, it's taxi a plane. So please, please oh, don't put taxi. Please don't put ferry in. Well, you know, but I, I don't know that ferry isn't a synonym for taxi. Could be. It's taxi. 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 So that's below the wing. Okay. Then you have above the wing, oh. which is customer service. Okay. All right. So below the below wing and above the, the wing. wing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You also have provisioning. Those are the you know the, the carts that drive up to the yep. plane to get all the goodies Stock on the plane. It all on, That's right? provisioning. And then we also have our um, customer support and services, which is short for res reservation service. Mm, <laughs> no, the people who work the phones. Yes, and so we have rotation there. And so you're rotating through the the biggest 
um, employee groups at Southwest, and then for 18 months, you switch every six months. And then at the end of that 18 months, you are placed somewhere across our system. Mm -hmm. And they are leading the frontline employees. And so we want to build a pipeline of really awesome leaders um, who can lead anywhere across the company. So we offer lots of different classes and learning experiences and kind of you name it, mentoring, coaching, yeah. to help them be awesome. My very favorite part is the host leaders in a particular location, they get just as much development as the as these young supervisors or young tenured supervisors coming through the program. And I don't know that, you know, sometimes they're working in the station for 15 years and they, it's been a long time since they've had anybody invest in them. Wow. And they just eat it up. They love it. And they're just so hungry to really support these guys well. It's, you know, sometimes it's hard to have a hard conversation. It's hard to tell somebody what they're not doing well or to say, you know. I don't like to hear that. that nobody likes to have a hard conversation, but you have to do it as a leader. So it's not just for the young. You're, when you say, Emerging, I mean, it doesn't so, mean necessarily. No. Yeah, emerging means that maybe a first time leader or you're just stepping into a leadership role. Like this last class, we had somebody who had been a principal for 20 something years and was looking for a second. A school principal? Uh -huh. He was looking for a second opportunity. You've got some vets who have been, okay. you know, um, lead, probably in leadership capacity in some form or fashion now in the military. You have folks just right out of college and you have internal folks who decide that they want to. You know, step into Try something role. different. Yeah. Well, Bonnie, I think we're we're, coming I think to a we're close. approaching our destination. Well, it has been a delight to be your first um, small car, big ideas. It's very awesome. Exciting. It's an awesome idea. It was great to hear about the program and how it's going to affect the company moving forward. Thank you. It's great I, to talk about it. I, for one, on behalf of everyone involved, wish the wish you the best of luck with the program moving Thank forward. Thank you. Can I put the peanuts back in the glove compartment? Unless you want them. I think you might need them later for snacks. When are you guys going to open up Juno? Juno? Yeah. Aren't you guys going to open up the Alaskan Territory? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you should look into that. You're looking for that historic it's lucrative? Hunter. Is it lucrative? Well, a lot of people in Juno. Uh, don't underestimate the Inuit population. <laughs> I mean, you never know. They, they also want to go places they, on vacation. It, look, the motto is you want to get Every, away. Everybody. If you lived in Juno, wouldn't it's you want to? Connecting people to what's important in their lives. Yes, exactly. That, that, is, our, that is our motto.